I want to know what happened when Honey disappeared. Is this your mother? Yes. And your mom was present at the Correct. time? Yes, Ma'am, ma could you take the stand? So your daughter brings Honey back to the house. What happened? When she brought Honey back to the house, she said, Mom, can you open the door and let Honey in? I, which I did not know Honey was there all night. So all three of you were living in the apartment? Well, yes. OK, so you come back. Too. You bring Honey back. You say, Mom, can you open the door? What happened next? When I was pulling up, I opened the door. I let her down, and she ran up the stairs. Yes. And then does anybody put Honey in the room? No, because we got a dog, Titus. So I let him out to go use the bathroom, and Honey followed him at the door. And then what did you do? I, I ran out to go look for Honey. I ran downstairs because we got to go to the three flights of stairs where we live at. I ran down and trying to get Honey to come back. They lying. When did you become aware, Miss Whitmore, that Honey had gone missing? Um, when my mom called me when I was uh, at physical therapy. So mom called you. Did you call the plaintiff immediately? No, I didn't. I, so I what came did you home. do when you learned that Honey had gone missing? I looked for the dog. Because when I was pulling up, the maintenance man flagged me down and said that he seen the dog in the woods. So I pulled over and looked in the woods. I didn't see her. Then I looked over and I see my mom standing at the top of the hill calling for Honey. I went over to my mom and I was like, Ma, what's going on? Like, where is she at? Like, you know. Ma'am, you can sit down. Thank you. <clears throat> Did you ask the plaintiff to move out about a week after this happened? It was more like two weeks. Why? Why did you ask her to move um, out? Because we had a, a disagreement at the club. She was being disrespectful to me. Did you sell the dog? No, ma'am. Did you secret the dog away? Did no, ma'am. Did you do anything inappropriate with the dog? If I, if I the had dog? the dog, she would have the dog. So I got to turn back to you, Ms. Hall. What is your support for the proposition <laughs> okay. that the defendant sold the dog? Hear me out. OK, so she just said that she let the dog out her car and called her mother to tell her mother the dog was coming up the steps. These people live up three flights of steps. Why would you let a Pomeranian run up three flights of steps to go in the house? It doesn't make sense. It does. Pomeranians run you, up but steps. But it's not but, your pet. OK, you call the dog your family. The yes. law calls the dog a piece of property. And it's a piece of property that you agreed to be responsible for. However, the mere fact that a dog runs away doesn't mean that the person who was looking after them was negligent. So you have to now give me some specific facts that yes, will support what it is you're trying to prove. Yes, ma'am. So after Honey became missing, I immediately went and got flyers made, just in case anybody seen her. Mind Did you... Did the defendant help you put up the flyers? She just drove me around. I put them so up. So she drove around yes, while you put up flyers? Yes, ma'am. So mind you, these people slept comfortable every night while I sit... <laughs> I sat in the window <clears throat> to see if I was going to see Honey run across the street or something at night. Listen, my dear, I get your sadness, but what I'm not getting so far is the connection between Honey's loss and her negligence or, as you surmise, her perhaps having sold the dog. <clears throat> you haven't gotten there yet. <laughs>